My home is in Pegasus. I really want to get home. It's been two years since the historic flood heavily damaged Pegwis First Nation in Manitoba's Interlake region. And those who were forced to leave their homes in 2022 are still staying in hotels like this one here at the Mainstay Suites in Winnipeg and are still waiting to go home. Look at the water. Holy smokes. Christopher Sinclair reminisces on what life was like two years ago in Pegwis. He was forced to leave everything he had behind and has been living in hotels in Winnipeg for the past two years. Our home was totally destroyed in the flood. We had a, we had a trailer and it, it moved, it shifted, the doors, it's totally gone. Sinclair has lived in five different hotels over the course of his stay in Winnipeg. It's been really frustrating being in Winnipeg. Like moving from hotel to hotel, that was one of the biggest things. We have to move all our stuff. All our stuff is packed up or put away. I can't even look at pictures. Cheryl Thompson knows the feeling all too well. It's the not knowing when we can uh, return. Uh, I, I already understand that my house is one of the houses that will not be fixed. So then when is the new homes coming? Thompson says the infrastructure in Pegasus, especially the housing, is really bad. And with nothing getting fixed, she doesn't know if she'll ever be able to return to the community. Uh, they say it's the roads, but when you go to Pegasus, as you said yesterday, you've seen the conditions of the roads. They're just horrible. You see there hard to even uh, navigate. On Tuesday, Pegwis Chief Dr. Stan Bird declared a state of emergency on behalf of the community due to the ongoing health crisis. This comes a week after the community filed a $1 billion flood damage lawsuit against the feds, the province and two rural communities. We need housing number one. We need an adequate permanent flood protection for a community, something that's been discussed through the generations but there's uh, never been any solution implemented. In Winnipeg, Alex Carver, City News.